Okay, hi there, welcome to a macro video. Uh, in this short video, we're just going to spend a few minutes looking at how a cut in the main rate of corporation tax in the UK uh, might impact on aggregate demand and supply. Most corporation tax money for the government comes from the taxable profits of limited companies. All sorts of debates at the moment about the scale of corporate tax avoidance. The corporate tax at the moment in the UK is paid at 19% on the earned profits of businesses. And last year, it brought in well over a billion pounds a week for the government in tax revenue. Uh, the forecast is that corporation tax in the UK will be cut if the Conservatives win the election from 19 to 17%. Labour's proposals will involve an increase in the main rate, I think, to 25%. Where does the UK fit internationally? Well, our corporation tax rate is a little bit below that of Vietnam, fast growing emerging country, and the United States. But we are ahead of Singapore, well above Ireland, which of course traditionally has had low corporate taxes. And Macedonia, another country that's using low corporate tax rates to try to attract inward investment. In the UAE, corporate tax is 0%. Let's think about the chain of reasoning of how a cut in corporation tax to 17% could impact on aggregate demand and supply. First key point is that if the tax burden goes down, that's going to increase the post-tax profits of businesses. And in theory, this will then increase the funds, if you like, the profits available to fund capital investment in all sorts of things such as new technology, new plant and equipment, perhaps new factories. That increase in investment would then trigger an outward shift of aggregate demand. I put the formula in there for you, AD equals C plus I plus G plus X minus M. And then this increase in demand for capital goods would tend to increase the output and profits of businesses who make the investment goods, the machine manufacturers, the construction industry, and so on, the software developers. Not only is there a potential demand side effect, but an increase in capital investment prompted by a cut in tax might also lead to an outward shift of aggregate supply as a country's productive capacity gets bigger. Here's a little chain of reasoning to see how this works. The government reduces the rate of corporation tax. Businesses get to keep a larger percentage of their profits. This increase in post-tax profits may lead to a rise in investment which of course is an injection into the circular flow model. This rise in investment can create a multiplier effect, a positive multiplier on demand, output and jobs. And in that sense, the corporation tax cut could stimulate faster short-term and long-term growth. And you can use ADS analysis to, to show this. Let's take an initial equilibrium at a point here, a national output of Y1. If there's a fall in corporation tax, the aggregate demand curve is likely to shift to the right. Other things being the same, that increases uh, real national output, might also actually increase inflationary pressure as well. Depends on the elasticity of aggregate supply. If you wanted to take it slightly further, you could think about the supply side effects of higher investment. So if lower corporate taxes lead to increased capital spending, aggregate supply could shift out as well from AS1 to AS2. Uh, just four evaluation points to finish with. Um, the impact of a fall in corporation tax depends on other factors. It might be the case, for example, that business confidence is low and this would limit, would hold back the impact of a, of a business tax cut. And the second point is a tax reduction really only benefits those businesses that are making chunky profits. Many small and medium sized enterprises in the UK actually struggle to achieve a sustainable profit. Their profit might only be a few thousand or a few tens of thousands every year. So a 2% cut in corporation tax isn't really going to have a significant effect. And the third point is that other countries might be doing something similar. There could be, if you like, a race to the bottom in terms of corporate taxes, which would make uh, the, the decision to cut corporate taxes to stimulate investment from overseas perhaps less successful. And of course, we're not assuming automatically that the money that companies get to keep after the tax cut uh, always flows into investment. Those higher post-tax profits 
might well be shared as more generous dividends to the company owners, to the shareholders, rather than being used to fund increased investment. All of these things might limit the impact of a corporate tax cut. But there we go, a quick look at corporation tax, aggregate demand and supply.